Hello friends, in this particular video, we will start topic 1.2 of paper 2, Anthropology. The topics that we are going to discuss today includes Rama Pithekas, Shiva Pithekas and Narmada Man. These are the topics which comes under 1.2. So we will start our lecture see talking briefly in the year 1932 some parts of upper jaw this is important because questions are frequently coming from this topic it may be Rama Pithekas, Shiva Pithekas or Narmada man repeating every one or two years so it is important for us to go through them at least once and what were the particular topics particular points which we found in the remains so in the year 1932 some parts of upper jaw teeth were found from Shivalik hills in northern India so this we found in Shivalik hills the upper jaw was broken and few teeth according to radiocarbon dating method we will also study the dating method uh, there is an individual video uh, which includes the dating method so with the help of C14 that is carbon 14 method the age of jaw fossil was traced to 16.6 million to 5.3 million years mid miocene or late miocene mid miocene or late miocene in the year 1960 Elvin Simon in the year 1960 Elvin Simon Elvin Simon a paleontologist from Yale University joined the fragments together and studied it on the basis of two parameters he carried out his examination so the two parameters that he chose were shape of jaw shape of jaw and the second parameter that he chose was dentition that is tooth organization he concluded that this fossil, this fossil which uh, was found in Shivalik Hill, represented the first step in the evolutionary divergence from common hominid stock. Rama Pithekas was 14 million years. So Rama Pithekas, Rama Pithekas, 14 million year the split which occurred at 15 million year the ape human split so the split that we are talk, talking uh, talking about is human ape split it occurred around 15 million years ago that was the knowledge in 1960 since Rama Pithekas was of this period it was put under the human category Later, scientists discovered uh, discovered that ape human split was between six to eight million year ago. So later, it was found that the split, which was considered to be fifteen million year, was between six to eight million years. Wilson and Sarich. So write down this name. Wilson and Suresh in the year 1970 in the year 1970 from the University of California from the University of California they were biological anthropologist they carried out analysis of blood protein and 
discovered on the basis of molecular chemistry that the actual divergence took between 6 to million 6 to 8 million years ago so they were where they were biological anthropologist biological anthropologist and with the help of molecular chemistry they found out that the age or the time where human and ape were separated that was six to eight million year ago so uh, i'm telling you the names of uh, this scientist or the scholars so are they important so yes they are definitely important so is is this particular scholars names are important or not so yes they are definitely important see while writing an answer we follow the standard format of introduction body or con and conclusion right so definitely in, in introduction we in, uh, start with a definition if any there's a book which has been written or research paper and we try to put a name of a scholar this is how we try to conclude the introduction and with the name of scholar we connect it with the body and in body we mention the name of if it is first paper or second any paper there will be a name, a name of a tribe any case study definitely the details of the answers right and if there are any classification features etc characteristics that will come here and in the conclusion we try to diversify our answer with others with if there is any government initiative or government scheme for that particular section we'll mention that if we have any statistics we will mention that and if we do not have anything so what simply we'll do is we'll try to sum up whatever uh, we have written here so the name of an anthropologist or any scholar becomes very important when we are about to write an answer so in year 1976 in 1976 pilbim pilbim another paleontologist discovered the fragment of jaws from shivalik and this with sight retouching slight retouching it was made into complete jaw and the jaw was of ramapithecus it was v-shape so they found a jaw which was v-shape and not parabolic conveying the idea that it it was of hominid type so it was of hominid when we will start our paper one uh, in the first chapter we will learn this particular thing hominid animal ape man etc we'll uh, learn from that particular topic subsequent finding of ramapithecus tells us that it resembles the great ape of shivapithecus so the details that we are having from that we can conclude that the great ape of Shiva Pithecus, which was uh, Shiva or Rama Pithecus, they were ancestors to Orangutan. They were ancestors to Orangutan. Now we'll start with our topic and we will. we have done we we have studied little about rama pithecus and i think this material will be sufficient uh, def definitely we'll start with the introduction where we'll uh, talk about the first discovery in 1932 upper jaw teeth where uh, it was found in shiva lake period was mid miocene and then we'll write down the name of few scholars like elvin simon Wilson and Sarish, uh, they studied the shape of jaw indentation and the pilvin. 
and we will conclude it that Shivapithekas and Ramapithekas were ancestors to Orangutan. Now we'll start separately a topic on Shivapithekas. It is bigger in size than Ramapithekas. So Shivapithekas is bigger in size than Ramapithekas. That is 1.5 meter tall and 4.9 feet when bipedal found in Shivalik but distributed all over the region that is China, Pakistan, Nepal and also Turkey. It is the ancestor to Orangutan. Orangutan. Its distribution is definitely from China, right? Shivalik Park till Turkey. So this is its complete uh, region or reach from the shape of arm and from the wrist and body uh, proportion paleontologist found that Shivapithekas spend more time on the ground but also spend time on tree so with the help of the shape of arms wrists and body proportion they found that paleontologists found that Shivapithekas spend more time on ground but also spend time on trees the paleontologist pilgrim named it as Shivapithekas or great ape of Shiva so pilgrim in 1960s archaeologist he named Shivapithekas he named it as Shivapithekas or the great ape of Shiv the species is extinct in the ape genus and the chronology is here the chronology is 12.5 uh, to 8.5 million year old miocene the jaw and the dentition reflect that they ate tough hard food like seed grass and the canines were large and molars were heavy so if this is denti uh, dentition here this is the lower jaw considered to be the lower jaw so here there were canines which were large and the molars which was used for chewing they were also larger in size okay now we will come to the last topic for today which is Narmada man Narmada man So this is your normal classes so what I'm expecting from you is that you should just simply sit down and write each and everything and then convert it into a standard point based answer it was only in the year 1982 geologist Arun Sunakia discovered the remnants of early man from a village Hatnora on the bank of river Narmada in Madhya Pradesh. The fossil were examined and the scholars confirmed that it is Homo erectus. Homo erectus. Again what is Homo erectus and everything we will study in paper 1 when we will, we will begin that particular topic. So they called it as Homo erectus Narmada Narmada Nensis. With this discovery, India was put on the world fossil map. According to the dating, Narmada man belonged to the late Pleistocene. Homo erectus aged between 1.8 to 2 million years in the world context. So, Homo erectus 1.8 to 2 million 
years ago was the time frame of homo erectus it was a fossil of young person between 25 to 30 years of age and according to one calculation narmada man is older than general age of homo erectus that is it is dated around somewhere 4 million years some fragments of the skull were discovered it was a skull cap uh, with occipital ridges and some of the orbital roof the canine's capacity was estimated to be much higher than ramapithecus and shivapithecus in europe homo erectus has domesticated animal did group hunting and used acheulean tools morphometric measures and comparative studies were carried out later on by two separate research team scholars from france and usa collaborated with indian uh, colleagues and conducted concluded that narmada man is homo sapien this has created a debate among the scholars in 1997 some new discoveries were made from narmada valley and they were further subjected to subject to analysis right uh, right clavicle bone was discovered from the adjoining area of hathnora one uh, the basis of clavicle and skull cap scientists tried to estimate the height the height was estimated to be 135 cm shoulder measured 30 cm but with this body shape and size they were making acheulean tools and probably may have domesticated animal as we find in europe so this was all the dictation for narmada man i will write down certain points which are important here so homo erectus narmada nensis we have uh, uh, wrote down about 1.2 1.8 1. to 1. Point, uh, 1. 1.2 million years as age height is 135 cm height and shoulder to be 30 cm and it is dated to be 4 million years ago it was domesticated it was domesticating animals just like europe some of the scholars or a team from france they came from france and usa and usa and they they concluded that narmada man was a homo sapien but still it is debated the name of the village was is hatnora mp river narmada the tools that they they made were sophisticated more sophisticated and uh, acheulean tools they made acheulean tools Uh, something that they made so in this particular video we finished topic 1.2 in the next video we will talk about ethnoarchaeology that is 1.3 stay tuned thank you for watching